Right, uh, good afternoon from London on a spring day and hello from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duce Idea, chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association and official delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the United Kingdom and also president of the Association for the Study of Sungan Politics. Uh, today I'm going to speak about People's Korea and International Women's Day and by the way I've written an article uh, with a very similar title uh, which is on our blog. Tomorrow the 8th of March is International Women's Day or more correctly International Working Women's Day because this uh, concept of um, an International Women's Day or Working Women's Day was conceived by Clara Zetkin, the famous German socialist and later a leader of the Comintern and the KPD. And it was really uh, uh, sort of created uh, with uh, working women, proletarian women in mind, not bourgeois feminists. It is celebrated in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, People's Korea, Juche Korea, uh, quite vigorously. And uh, I think last year uh, they had a national meeting and a concert to mark International Women's Day. In the DPRK, women have their own mass organisation, the Socialist Women's Union of Korea, which was founded. Uh, in November 1945, three months after Korea's liberation, as a Korean Democratic Women's Union, and that plays quite an important role in society. In fact, uh, last year there were uh, elections to the Supreme People's Assembly, uh, ba basically the DPRK's own general election, and the Central Election Committee uh, included a representative of the Socialist Women's Union of Korea. So you can see what an important role it plays in the DPRK. However, the uh, capitalist countries, the so-called free free countries, which of course are not free, uh, which proclaim themselves as having equal rights uh, for women, do not have mass organisations for women at all. Uh, so the DPRK uh, is uh, very advanced in uh, this uh, sphere. Korean women under uh, Japanese rule and under feudalism were uh, doubly and triply oppressed, in fact very extremely oppressed because uh, you had the awful sexual slavery uh, of the Japanese imperialist army uh, which was an unspeakable crime against Korean women and for which uh, Japan has uh, never uh, apologized for or paid proper compensation for. It was a terrible crime. But also under feudalism you had very extreme uh, uh, oppression and uh, restrictive uh, practices towards women. For instance they were not allowed to uh, to go out the house. That's how the traditional Korean game of seesaw came into be being because it was a way that uh, women could actually see uh, uh, the out outside world. And that, that gives you just one example. In uh, 1946, after liberation, President Kim Il-sung made sure that the law on sexual equality was passed. This was on the 30th July 1946. That made women uh, uh, legally equal with men, gave them the right to divorce and the right to inherit. It also abolished and forbid uh, prostitution of all kinds, including the so-called entertainer system. Women were also given uh, Le uh, the status of legal equality in Article 
77 of the Socialist Constitution of the DPRK and this was further reinforced by the law on protecting women's rights that was passed in December 2010. Now uh, some people would say well you know they've uh, you know passed the legislation but what of the real position in women, uh, of women in DPRK society? Well firstly Practical uh, measures have been taken to ensure that women are uh, can enjoy full equality and it is a fact that actions will always talk louder than words. So what has the DPRK done? Well, there's a huge uh, network of nurseries, kindergartens and creches, including creches at workplaces, which I think is very important and you have also uh, even some 24-hour uh, child care facilities and seven day a week child care facilities all of which are totally free of charge now compared this this to the UK where uh, I remember about uh, for about 14 or 13 years ago uh, it cost uh, about £700 a month for my son to go uh, to nursery but in, in people's career that would be free and also a sort of better uh, uh, standard, better quality of uh, nursery education in the uh, D DPRK so that's just what, one example the DPRK also um, has uh, cheap restaurants in uh, in the big blocks of flats uh, the ground floor usually has a sort of a restaurant or cafe in it so that that means uh, uh, there's you know people uh, can eat out if if they choose which is a is is a, is quite important and the uh, DPRK puts a lot of emphasis on uh, respecting women. There's nothing in the ideology of and culture of the DPRK that demeans women. Uh, President Kim Il Sung himself uh, defined uh, women as uh, uh, being one of the two wheels in society and said that. Uh, you know society cannot run on just one wheel women are regarded as the flowers of the country and are highly respected in the DPRK uh, there's no prostitution that was made illegal as I said in 1946 and there's no no sex industry now compared this this to South Korea where uh, there's about one million prostitutes, uh, many of them serving uh, the US armed forces who've uh, introduced uh, a new kind of sexual slavery in South Korea and also in several Asian countries you've got the sex industry like in, in Thailand for example. In the Western countries they are saturated with pornography which demeans and degrades women and make, makes them in, into objects but in the DPRK you will not see any kind of pornography uh, on uh, sale and uh, you know un, any kind of sexual imagery in the DPRK is totally uh, unheard of uh, so that creates a very wholesome atmosphere uh, in which women can uh, be respected so uh, the DPRK, a socialist country of Duce, is genuinely guaranteeing women's rights and providing equality for women. Tomorrow, International Women's Day in the DPRK will be celebrated with pride and vigour. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh, subscribed. And please support us on Facebook and Twitter. Better still, 
uh, how about coming to some of our meetings and events and uh, giving us support there. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Goodbye.